Wood has been a cornerstone of human construction for centuries, used in everything from homes to furniture to tools. But as our needs for more durable and flexible materials grew, so did the innovation in how we process wood. One such advancement is laminated wood, a product of modern engineering that combines strength, flexibility, and sustainability. But have you ever wondered how this remarkable material is made? Laminated wood, also known as glulam, short for glued laminated timber, is made by bonding together multiple layers of wood with adhesives to create a single strong unit. This innovative process not only makes wood more versatile, but also maximizes the use of raw materials, making it an environmentally friendly choice. In this video, we'll dive deep into how laminated wood is made, explore the steps involved in its production, and examine why it's become such an essential material in modern construction and design. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The journey of laminated wood begins with selecting the right timber. Not all wood types are suitable for lamination. Softwoods such as pine, spruce, and fir are commonly used because of their flexibility and ease of processing. The wood must be free of defects like knots, splits, or rot to ensure structural integrity. Once the timber is selected, it's sawn into smaller planks, known as lamellae, which are the building blocks of laminated wood. These planks are then carefully dried in a kiln to reduce their moisture content. This step is crucial because excess moisture can weaken the adhesive bond and lead to warping over time. The drying process also improves the wood's dimensional stability, ensuring that the final product retains its shape and strength under various environmental conditions. Once the wood is dried and cut to size, it undergoes a process known as planing. This step smooths the surface of the planks to create a uniform texture, ensuring a tight bond when the adhesive is applied. The precision required during this stage cannot be overstated. Any unevenness or roughness can compromise the lamination process, leading to weak points in the final product. After planning, the planks are inspected for quality and sorted according to their strength and appearance. Stronger planks are used for load-bearing applications, while others might be reserved for decorative purposes. This meticulous sorting process ensures that each piece of laminated wood meets specific requirements for its intended use. The next step is applying the adhesive, a critical component in the lamination process. Modern laminated wood typically uses high-performance adhesives such as phenol resorcinol, polyurethane, or melamine-based glues. These adhesives are designed to withstand extreme stress, moisture, and temperature changes, making the final product incredibly durable. The adhesive is applied evenly across the surface of each plank, either by machine or manually, depending on the scale of production. It's important that the application is precise, as uneven glue distribution can create weak spots. Once the adhesive is applied, the planks are stacked together in the desired configuration, with their grains oriented to maximize strength and minimize potential warping. The stacked planks are then placed into a hydraulic press, where they're subjected to high pressure and, in some cases, heat. This step ensures a strong bond between the layers as the adhesive cures. The amount of pressure applied is carefully controlled, as too little pressure can result in a weak bond, while too much pressure can squeeze out the adhesive, leaving gaps. The curing time varies depending on the type of adhesive used, ranging from a few hours to several days. In industrial settings, curing is often accelerated using controlled heat or microwave technology, making the process more efficient. After curing, the laminated wood is removed from the press and undergoes a series of finishing processes. The edges of the laminated piece are trimmed to remove excess adhesive and ensure clean, uniform dimensions. The surface may also be sanded or planed to achieve a smooth finish, especially if the wood is intended for decorative use. In some cases, 
Protective coatings or sealants are applied to enhance durability and resistance to moisture, UV rays, and wear. This is particularly common for laminated wood used in outdoor applications, such as bridges or pergolas. One of the key advantages of laminated wood is its ability to be manufactured in various shapes and sizes, which sets it apart from traditional solid wood. During the lamination process, the planks can be curved or bent into complex forms, making it ideal for architectural designs that require intricate shapes, such as arches or domes. This flexibility is achieved by bending the planks during the adhesive curing stage, allowing them to retain their shape once the glue sets. This capability has made laminated wood a favorite among architects and designers who value both aesthetics and functionality. Beyond its strength and versatility, laminated wood is celebrated for its sustainability. The process of making laminated wood maximizes the use of each log, reducing waste compared to traditional woodworking methods. Additionally, since laminated wood can be made from smaller, fast-growing trees, it helps reduce the demand for large, old-growth timber. Many manufacturers also source their wood from sustainably managed forests and use low-emission adhesives to minimize environmental impact. This commitment to sustainability has positioned laminated wood as a key material in the push for greener construction practices. Laminated wood is used in a wide range of applications, from residential buildings and furniture to massive infrastructure projects like stadiums and bridges. Its strength to weight ratio is impressive, making it a strong yet lightweight alternative to steel and concrete in some cases. In fact, laminated wood has been used to construct towering wooden skyscrapers, a testament to its strength and reliability. Its aesthetic appeal is another major draw, as the visible wood grains and natural textures add warmth and character to any design. Whether it's the curved beams in a modern cathedral or the sleek lines of a designer chair, laminated wood combines beauty with practicality in a way few other materials can match. The process of making laminated wood is a perfect blend of traditional craftsmanship and modern engineering. From selecting and preparing the timber to applying high-performance adhesives and pressing the layers together, every step is designed to create a material that's strong, versatile, and sustainable. Laminated wood has revolutionized the way we use timber, offering solutions that were once impossible with solid wood alone. Its ability to combine strength, flexibility, and aesthetics has made it an indispensable material in construction, design, and beyond. So, the next time you see a beautifully curved beam or a sturdy wooden structure, you'll know the incredible journey it took to become laminated wood. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.